Hey everybody, happy new year and welcome to another midweek episode. You know, as we jump into a new year, there's all kinds of conversations around change. People are, are intentionally making changes in their lives and making New Year's resolutions. And, and this is how we're intended to live life. Life is all about change. But sometimes change is hard. See, sometimes it's, it's not change that we're a part of driving forward. It's change that seems to be forced upon us. I mean, I know that one of the more hotly debated topics around changes that are happening here in the state of Minnesota revolves around the changing of our state flag. I know some of you are like, I got an opinion on that one. Yeah, a lot of people do. As you look at social media and what's happening, there, there's a lot of opinions that are out there. And, and so I thought I'd take today just as an opportunity to talk about change and how we approach that, how we approach that as individuals, how we approach that as organizations, and how we approach that as Christians. You know, some of you, you're a part of a company or an organization and you are a part of change management. So, so some of the conversation that we have today, you're like, yeah, I talk through this all the time. If not, this will be a good refresher for you. Uh, when it comes to change and, and questioning change, uh, I want to lay out three questions today that are important for us to ask when it comes to change. And the first question is this. What's the reason for this change? Like, why are we making this change right now? And, and in that, how are we communicating the reasons for that change? Because sometimes some people don't see a need for a change to be made. And so you have to communicate the reasons for the change. So, for example, in the state of Minnesota, when it comes to our current flag, there's a couple of concerns around it. Uh, the first concern is around the composition of the flag. It's just not a memorable flag. When it comes to other states and, and their flags, it, 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 it's a little easier to, to draw or design a flag like the state of Texas than to say, hey, what does the state flag of Minnesota look like? We, we just, we don't really know. Uh, another reason for the, the concern and, and, and the need for change with our state flag revolves around some of the, the controversy of what's on the state emblem, which is in the middle of the flag, that uh, it, it's considered to be offensive to some. So if you look at the state emblem of our flag, you can see that there is a settler, and then in the background, there's a Native American riding away on a horse, which some people have interpreted to mean the forcing out of the Native Americans as we settled Minnesota. Now, do I see it that way? Do you see it that way? Maybe, maybe not, but, but it's there. And so a change is being considered. And so we have to ask ourselves that simple question. What is the reason for this change? The second question when it comes to change then is, is who's responsible for making this change? And how do I play a role or do I play a role in the decision around this change? And this is where it gets complicated because we live in a culture where everybody thinks that they're entitled to their opinion. And when a change is made and they don't agree with it, they make their voice known. And certainly right now in the state of Minnesota, there are people who are voicing their concerns over the changing of our state flag. There are people who are saying, well, this is a change that should be made by a, a common vote amongst the, the citizens of Minnesota. And so we need to slow the process down. Even though the state legislature commissioned the state emblem redesign commission to tackle the topic of changing the state flag. So they received 2,500 submissions, narrowed it down to six and then included other outside experts, those who have been a part of um, being a part of the advisory role with other states and changes that they've made to their flags. And so narrowing it down to one that they then made some final adjustments to. And so now the flag that's being proposed is a, a very simple flag. 
It has uh, the outline of Minnesota looking like a K. It has the North Star because Minnesota's state motto is the North Star State. And it has a light blue color to it representing all of the water in the state of Minnesota, including the source of the Mississippi River in a land of over 10,000 lakes. But who's the one who's behind the decision to change? That's a question that we have to ask. But then here's the final question. And I think this one is the kicker for us as Christians. Is how is Jesus changing you through this change? Because sometimes change is foisted upon us. And yet, God is a God of change. You and I are not a finished product. We're not who God wants us to be. And 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 says that we're all being changed from one level of glory to another as we're changed into the image of Jesus. And so when it comes to change, we look to Jesus so that we might look like Jesus amidst the changes. And so whatever the change is, whether it's the changing of the state flag or another change, here's what I want you to know. Our allegiance is not to a state flag. Our allegiance is to Jesus. And to see the attitude that he is shaping and changing in us in the midst of the changes around us. So whatever changes lie ahead for you in your life, and there's a lot of them, they're not going to stop. Whether you're ready for it or not, change happens. I pray that you would take these questions to heart. What's the reason for the change? Who is responsible for making the decision around the change? And then how is Jesus changing you through this change? Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.